Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to have uninterrupted background music on your DVD menus when using DVD Architect. The reason you want to know how to do this is if you have multiple menus on your DVD, when someone clicks to go from one menu page to another, you don't want the music to sound like it abruptly stops and then starts a new song. What you want is a seamless transition from menu to menu. It's easy to do in DVD Architect. Let me show you what I mean. What you see on the screen here is DVD Architect, and I've pulled up a, a menu theme onto the screen right here, and we're looking at menu one, and I also have a menu page two. We'll go to page two so that you can see. Now, if I would play these without doing anything else to them, there'll be no background music. And in most cases, you do want background music on your DVDs. So to set background music, over here in the right-hand column where it says menu page properties, you click the background media. You look for audio, and if there's none audio there, you want to click choose replace, and then choose the music that you want to use. I'm going to use a, a clip here that I've got. And the next thing you do is you go to End Action. And on End Action, you select the command and make sure that it's set to loop. And that'll cause the music to loop. Now, you'll need to do this for each page in your menu. So that's page one. And we go to page two. And on page two, we make sure that the command is loop. And on background media, we select the audio. And we replace it with the song that we want. Now, you can have different songs if you want. But you'll find that most commercially sold DVDs have the same song that goes from track to track. So we'll click Open. Now we've set the same background music on each track. And to preview that, we click the Preview button. It brings up the menu screen. And as we listen to it, we'll hear that the music sounds the same. In a moment, we'll jump to our second menu. And you notice when I did the jump, there wasn't really a break. I'll jump back. And the reason it does that is because I'm using a loop. I'm going to close this. The trick here is to use a music loop. And I find my music loops here on Looperman, and these are royalty-free music, and most of these loops are free. And you can go through and listen to different loops. And this is the loop that I just chose. It's called Smooth Symphony. But there are a number of other loops that we could have used. We'll try a few of these. Now, I know you may be thinking, well, that's uh, fairly monotonous. But having a loop like this gives one a nice, calming menu background music. Anyway, I went to Looperman, and that's looperman.com. I looked for loops and samples, and over here you can choose for, uh, different categories. I entered the keyword smooth, and then click find loops. And it found me about 250 loops that are what I consider to be smooth. And then I can go through and listen to each one of them. If I find one I like, I can click the download. Now the loops here are free, but you do have to join Looperman. Registration is free. And I'm not going to send you a lot of email or anything else. I'm not going to try to upsell you to anything. Anyway, that's how you have background music on your menus and on DVDs. I thought you might be interested in this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.